Dilemma time. Oh gosh. <laughs> this is now my new segment brought to you by <laughs> Tammy Monterey Enterprises. It's not enterprises, it's surprises. <laughs> I'm claiming this segment. Anyway. I'm so done. Am I the asshole for Thank not you. letting my sister in law use my wedding dress for her wedding, even though she can't afford one? Just listen to the rest of the, the story. <laughs> My younger brother and his fiance are supposed to get married in the spring after being engaged for about a year. My younger brother has always been the golden child between the both between the both of us to my mum, not my dad. Him and his fiance currently live with her, rent free, might I add. My dad and I, on the other hand, have mixed feelings about this wedding. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention the age. So the younger brother is 24 mm-hmm. and his fiance is 23. Okay. okay. Yeah, so um, my dad and I, on the other hand, have mixed feelings about this wedding. We both feel like my brother is rushing into things and not being financially smart. He just finished his bachelor's degree a year ago and is trying to get on his feet and find a good full-time job in his field. And then he decides to spend thousands of dollars on a wedding. Mm. We sat him down and explained this to him and he asked and asked him what the rush was. Why not push it off for a few years and save up so you, can get, so you guys can really have the wedding of your dreams? He explained to us that his fiance wants the wedding as soon as possible and doesn't want to wait. Mm. Well, his fiance's family is pitching in a couple thousand for the wedding. And my, da- my dad reluctantly is pitching in a couple thousands as well. This is important later. Well, in a few... <laughs> Sorry, it's like the build up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, a few nights ago, I'm eating dinner and my husband with, I'm eating dinner with my husband when I get a call from my future sister-in-law. The convo starts with a normal, normal, hey, how are you? She, weather we're having, et cetera, et cetera. Until she tells me that she has a serious question to ask me. Hmm. She asked me if she can use my wedding dress that I wore to my wedding just over a year ago. Eh, so it's even recent. Fresh. The pictures are still marinating, you know. You, you see know how long I mean? Porsche, you see how long Porsche's thing has been going on for. Trust me, oh, no, that's really still fresh. New TikToks are still being reproduced. Do you know what I mean? Fam. Videographer Ooh. still yet to drop. You, 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 you know some, you know some photographers that be taking mom. Trust me, probably only just wedding got it, album is still in, 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 in production. production. Literally, <laughs> literally. She then explains that she can't afford one for herself. That she's absolutely, she absolutely loves mine and would love to, and mm-hmm. it would. And it would be her something borrowed. You know, when they have those okay, things, yeah, something yeah, borrowed. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, no. Not from, that's not from the right person, but okay. Yeah, yeah, continue. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> it's, not even from the, it's not even about it being from the right person. That's, that's, that's the, the wrong thing. Yeah, that's the wrong thing. Yeah. It's, like it's like a hair color. Yeah, cool. exactly. so, I don't know. It's true. I, imme- I immediately shut her down and said, sorry, but no. This is a thousands of dollars dress we're talking about that she'd have to get altered to fit to her, by the way. Mm-hmm. So no way. We're not even that close and she barely talks to me. So like, what the... (laughs) She starts begging and even starts crying and going on about how she can't afford one. I told her, I'm sorry, no. Why don't people take no? I don't know. You know when it's family as well, that's when extra extra dynamics start coming in. People take the piss. In-laws. Yeah, definitely. Continue. Not by blood. No, but you know, she sees herself as family, Sha. (sighs) Okay. (laughs) She then starts going on about how um, she's... How I'm not even financially helping her and my brother pay, f- helping her and my brother pay for the wedding. So the least I can do is let her use the dress. Yeah. I told her the honest truth that I think they're rushing into having a wedding and not being financially smart. She said she didn't care. She has a timeline and wants to be married by 25. I basically said to her that she made her bed now, so she has to lie in it and figure it out herself. And if she can't afford her wedding dress, then she should then she should not be having a wedding. Simple as that. She ran back to my mum and my brother to tell them what I had said. They think I'm an asshole because I have... They, as in the mum. The mum and the brother yeah, think, the, I'm a, I think I'm an asshole, yeah. Child, um, yeah, they think I'm the asshole because I have the money to help them financially, mm-hmm. but I'm being selfish and unsupported. unsupportive. They also think it's just a dress, so what's the big deal? My dad is on my side and is defending me and is now thinking of taking back his financial help. <laughs> Due to the sheer audacity of mm-hmm. my brother and fiance asking me such a thing. Hmm. End of dilemma. Damn. <laughs> That's a good one, you know. It's a good dilemma, that right? That's a good dilemma. I can't even lie. I think you have to like dissect it. Should they be getting married that young? What do you guys like? When I was younger, yeah. When I was like, what, 15, 16, I want to be married by 24. That's I want what my I kids by That's 27. What I yeah. Well, life no. happened. Yeah. And um, those things just don't. Happen for just everyone. don't happen for everyone. And yeah. I think now, because um, when I used to watch Wendy Williams, she always used to say like, 
nowadays, like getting married at 23 and 24, like our parents did, is just mm. not the norm. Like mm. there's so many things like you like you try to rush in, like there's no point in rushing into Some marriages. Don't like finish uni until they're 22. So yeah. it's, exactly. Yeah. I finished uni when I was like, what, 23, I think, 24. Yeah. So yeah. it's kind of like, so what? Where where's the man coming from? Like yeah. coming out of thin air, like who man yeah. like marrying? Mm. But what do you guys think about the age thing? If I think, if we're just talking about the age thing, I think it just depends on the person. So I I don't think it's it's easy to just put a blanket term on it because mm-hmm. there's some people who, yes, they got together when they were younger, but they actually they're just really good at growing together. And mm-hmm. like as they've gotten older, they actually haven't separated. That even in their age and even in the separate unis, like everything has just been works just works like seamlessly. Do you know what yeah. I mean? So yeah. in those cases, I'm not gonna be here and say, oh no, like don't do it. Like if you're ready for the next step, then I think you should take that next step. You shouldn't mm-hmm. just say, oh no, I'm too young to take that next step. Like. Mm-hmm. Whatever you're going to do in your relationship, you're going to do in your marriage, but it's just going to be more, it's just more of a commitment. It's more of, you know, it's the bigger step. Do you yeah, know what I mean? And if you yeah. want that, you want to create an environment where you think, okay, cool. This is my forever person. I know there's likelihood of children, but I want to feel that security. Then go ahead for it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I think that it's fine. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't know when they started dating and stuff. Obviously, like, we all know, you know, you can change as you go older, but it's clear that these two are, want to get married. Like, I think as long as they're both on the same page about wanting to get married, we outside people, as much as it's, it's important, it's not. As long as the two people that are in the marriage are aligned, I think that's what is key. Can I say? Yeah, go on, go on. Okay, so I do agree with what you're saying mostly. I think just two things. First, I feel like her motivation seems a little bit, I don't want to say it's wrong because obviously she loves the guy, which is why she wants to marry him. Mm. But the fact that, and I guess this ties into my second point, but the fact that she's saying like she wants to be married by a certain age, which is yeah. why she's trying so hard to get married. Yeah. I feel like that's the wrong motivation, like, which leads on to my second point. Like, if you can't even afford your wedding, how are you going to be able to afford to like live? live. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you yeah. can't afford to, your, you can't afford a dress to yeah. wear to your wedding. Mm. So I'm just thinking... Or the dress that you want... Do you know what I mean? Like, cause yeah. you know what I mean? Like, there's a difference between like, okay, she, maybe she can afford like a normal dress, yes, but she wants like a certain high standard, yeah, and, and so that's, that's so what it is. fine. Like, yeah. I think all of us here would say like, we have a certain standard that we want our weddings to be. Yeah. But I'm just like, if it's that big of a deal that you're having to borrow your sister in law's dress, and she's saying no, and you're crying, and you're like, there's mm. nothing else, like I can't afford a dress mm. or the dress that I want mm. or whatever, then, and you're saying that, but and she's 23 and she wants to get married by 25. I'm thinking mm. just. Wait a year then Like mm. Do you know what I mean Like I'm planning. Put some more money yeah. aside For yeah. like another year yeah. If that is If you want this like I don't want to say grand Because we haven't Like she hasn't implied that Necessarily in the dilemma But I'm just thinking Like yeah We all want to get married And like being married By a certain age Like That is a goal for some people But mm. I just To me it, it just does all, all doesn't really make sense If you can't even afford the wedding Because then mm. it's just like the wedding is like the least really of your worries if you're thinking about like a lifetime together. Mm. Yeah. What happens now if they if they get pregnant? Like childcare is like mm. child, that's costing like 75% of some people's salaries. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So like, I don't know. I just feel if this was my friend, I would probably be saying to them, like, like this woman who wrote the dilemma said, like, have you maybe considered just waiting a bit longer so that you mm. can have all your ducks in order and like, mm. you know, it doesn't seem like such a big rush and stuff. Mm. Mm. What do you think? Um, just judging by the whole thing, I just think, just call off the damn thing. Just what, because of the age thing or what? Everything. Because of the money thing. Mon- like, money Because you said, because you, your question to us was about the, the age, age thing. Yeah, the first thing. But <clears throat> just looking at it collectively yeah. as a whole. Yes, I think, too young to get married and also because obviously she mentioned that the guy like her brother is just trying to get on his feet like mm. trying to even find a job yeah, yeah. trying yeah. to even find a full time job just yeah. finish uni oh. yeah. sorry you already have that burden like you guys know how it is looking for jobs mm. imagine looking for a job yeah. and looking for venue I'm yeah. sorry yeah. I cannot yeah. do you know what I'm even thinking as well on top of this it's like it's even causing a, a uh, a dis- sh- like a disconnect a, a in the family, family yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like it, it seems like it's pushing people apart. Yeah, and I just feel like a wedding should be bringing people, people together. together. Like yeah. if it's doing the complete opposite, like surely you even have to wait yourself and think, like, hold on a minute, like mm-hmm. why is this causing so much drama amongst mm-hmm. my mm-hmm. future family and all? Like I don't know. Also, this guy, he didn't even appear once in this dilemma. Does he not have any like? <laughs> <laughs> mm. But I mean, like, obviously, he said he was upset, like about it. 
But I just feel like you should be making a stand. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how to explain it. I just feel mm. like, I wonder if also she approached her brother with this idea before she went to go and meet her mother and her sister. I definitely think she did. With the way that it sounds, I think, because they both said it's just, it's just a dress. Like, yeah, I think yeah, that yeah. they both think that it's fine. And you know what? I know that I definitely agree with what everyone's saying. But honestly, like, I'm just thinking if I was genuinely in that scenario, I just feel like in this life, yeah, there's just so many things that like you can fight and there's so many things that you just won't lose. You just won't win the battle. Like when people are so fixed and so fixated, yeah, you're doing more harm by just resisting so much when like the general picture is not that deep. Like I know that, for example, okay, with the wed, like with the marriage, they're a bit young, they're spending too much. Do you know what I mean? But everybody, everybody deals with something, right? But if I genuinely feel like them two are the right people at the end of the day to get married, Yes, I get that. I can say, you know what, delay, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, they're going to get, I still think that they, them two should be together. So it's, as much as I can do some resisting like, at first, I'd be like, nah, nah, nah. But for me to, you know, when people are so stubborn in their ways, it's like, come on, this, at the end of the day, this is family, like, let it go. Like, in the grand scheme of things, are you going to die by giving the person your dress? Like, I get, I get what you mean. <laughs> that it's, It is a mad thing to do, like, just mm-hmm. ask someone for a dress. But I think when it comes to family, when it comes to like, Trying to be the resistance in some in some things. I do think a lot of it is just pride and ego. And sometimes when it's like it's not even your wedding, it's their it's their marriage, it's their life. Sometimes people have not to say that they have to fail, but sometimes people have to go through certain things. Obviously, yes, you can give advice. You can say this is not what I did, what I would do. I can't lie to you. This is not a good idea. You guys should wait. I'm not saying don't say it, say it. But then when they're coming to say, oh no no no, like how can you? How can you? And it's starting to cause riff. That's when you just say, you know what? Fine, just take it. But then that's like that's my thing done. Kudos to you guys. Don't come to me now if some issues have happened down the line. Like I'm, I'm giving you. I think what, that's even worse. No, but no, if you're not. giving the dress on those, con- those no, it's not, conditions, no, it's not like, like, don't come and meet no, me if you guys. No, no but it's not. But it's just like I've, I've, I've no, you know when like you've warned someone. Like just like for example, when your girl comes to you, but all the time about, uh, about the guy that she's talking to, and you're like, why are you with him? Why are you with him? And she's like, no, no, no. And you know that at the end of the day, like she's gonna go back. So like, as much as you can do all this resistance, you can do some mm. advising. Mm. But at the end of the day, sometimes you're like, look, I've told you this. Obviously, I know you're gonna end up. I'm, you're gonna come back to me at the end of the day. I'm gonna still, you know, open you with welcome minds, but I can still say I'm gonna, gonna end up still. I'm, no, but I'm still gonna end up saying like, come on, like I told you this now, like try not to come, like do you know what I mean, like this is gonna be the consequences of it. You mm. know what I mean? Like that's mm. how you talk to family, that's how you talk to your friends. But at the end of the day, we all know that love is love. Like when you love someone like that, like family, you know, you're gonna open them with welcome minds, even if they repeat the same mistake. I like to the, it, as long as it's not detrimental to the point that like, they're killing themselves. That's what that's what I would say. I don't know. I feel like I understand what you're saying, but I think in this scenario, it's kind of like. There's too many negatives about this wedding than positives. Okay, you guys love each other, but we've always said, love is not enough. Mm. Baby, come to me, my love. <laughs> <laughs> So in that line, you're already yeah. there. Come to me with money. Yeah. You can't afford the dress. Yeah. You can't afford the wedding. The dad is financially supported. The mm. parents are like, when, I don't know. Because when I get married, my parents are obviously going, my dad's already said, he's going to fight. Money. He's going to put money. That's, yeah, just, that's standard. just standard. But the thing is, it's like, if all these people are not agreeing, maybe you two should look at me. Let's take a look. Let's mm. let's see if we actually like. No yeah. one's saying don't get married. They're mm. just saying the timeline of it. Like yeah, but, wait but a little I'm saying, bit. But I'm saying like, if they're so if they're because it's clear that them they're just so they want set to. in their ways. Yeah. So like no, I I get that yeah. yeah, but it comes to a point where it's like okay, if you want to get married so bad. Go to the the the, the registry or yeah. whatever you call it and yeah. go and get married. Yeah. If that's how bad but you want to okay, get but married, but if it's that, is that bad? Then why can't you? Why can't you also say, you know what? If it's that bad, then just take my dress and just do what you want to do. Because the and thing that's is, that's, that's my, my thing. My thing with the dress is that the girl is even settling for a dress. Like you're even saying, oh, let me use someone hand but me down. She likes it. She loves no, 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 no. no. She likes it because it's available. Yeah, maybe, maybe, <laughs> but maybe she actually genuinely just she likes, likes it. The dress because <laughs> it's maybe available. Maybe she actually just likes it. How? Know? First of all. I don't think any woman should settle for a wedding dress. I know there's some circumstances where mm. people do, but, we're but I'm so saying much. that I'm yeah. saying that every like anyone that wants to get married mm. wants like a wedding dress that they can be like, oh yeah, I picked this out. I, even even if you go to the used shop, yeah. the second hand, mm. or you go to the rented, mm. you look at the dresses and say, oh, I want this one. You've mm. given the choice. This one has seen a dress that her sister-in-law wore last year. Mm. And said, so, oh, that won't be too bad. I could, mm. I could pull that off. Mm. And you've spent, imagine you, you spent thousands and thousands of dollars on the dress. Yeah, but you're not going to use someone, it again. It's not about not going to use it. You can still sell it. It's still, you can still sell it. I'm not even, talking about, I'm not even well. talking about selling it. 
for some people like to keep their wedding for sentimental values. Yeah. Like my auntie, like my auntie has kept her wedding dress. She, for her wedding dress for like 19 years and yeah. next year is going to be her 20th wedding anniversary anniversary she's using the same dress but like getting it redone yeah. and remade yeah. so she can wear it again for yeah. her like some dresses have sentimental values definitely sorry what is your size you're telling me you're going to now alter the dress <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, I, 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 I you sometimes you have an attachment with the dress and like you're looking back at the pictures now, I think I don't even have this goddamn dress. I don't even mm. know where the, the like do you understand? And yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. you you're, you're just because I have the dress, mm. you just think that it's available for you to use, but yeah. no, no, it's it's not available for you to use. Mm. Like there's so many other dresses that you could do, like you could get or you like, why do you have to use? My dress. Like, yeah, if that I, was her reason, then I think that I would. Uh, I'm an understand. But what what else could be the reason? If you didn't see the dress, you wouldn't know that it's there. If you didn't go to the yeah, wedding, you wouldn't know that but it's there. You know, but you know, sometimes like you might not think that. For example, I don't have to explain it. Like, I'm just thinking from my point of view, just generally. If I did have my dress, yes, I get. If I if there was a sentimental value to it, mm-hmm. I'm like, you know what, I actually want to keep this. I want to do that. But sometimes mm-hmm. you don't. Sometimes actually, like the dress is a lot of money, and it's it makes sense for you to sell it off. That's just the way it is. Mm-hmm. Maybe that person thought that's that's what you're gonna do. So before you sell it off, let me just quickly use it. Then you can send it off. Do you know what I mean? But I'm she just can't get, she can't get mad at the answer though. No, that's you've no, asked, you've true. asked. The person says yeah. no. You're now yeah. saying, oh, it's not that deep. Sorry. Who yeah. are you to who are you measuring deepness yeah, with? It's true, it's How tricky. are you measuring deepness? Yeah. How do you not know that I want to keep the dress for my future daughter that I want maybe yeah. her to? Do you understand? Yeah. It's like some things hold value. Yeah. And it's not just about the dress. It's the other stuff as well. The dress is just on top of everything else. It's like yeah. You have stew You're now adding pepper On top of the stew yeah. on, Into the stew yeah. Like you can't even Afford the wedding You're now coming to me Asking about A dress that I wore For my wedding A year ago That we're still Developing the pictures yeah, for To so this day To put into the album We're still going to do One year anniversary Oh and put so yeah. you're not going to be competing. Oh, who who wore the best, best? on the shade room? Oh, who who oh, wore it gosh. best? That's true. Nah, true. nah, 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 nah. I think like you said, yeah. you had a question. Yes. Oh, I was going to say, devil's advocate. Could the fact that because you were saying about settling for a dress, blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. Could the fact that she's willing to, in your words, settle for a dress, show how much? She's, that's what I. That's what I. That's the way she I viewed wants it. To marry this guy. And that's like, how the, in love. Good yeah. question. You, you don't think so I know you don't But that's the way That I interpret it Actually at first I actually can you, ask, can you ask the question again So I understand <laughs> no, but the, she's the, saying fact that, that the fact she's that she's willing, Even saying that You know what to... I just want to get married And I just want to Whatever dress it is I don't even care I don't even care same people Are coming to both weddings Yeah like, I just want to like, Get, get married. married to this guy Because then actually You have put the marriage I can see it that way At the forefront That's a good question I can see it that way My whole thing is I'm always for Like I'm an advocate For compromise obviously Like I don't feel like When I first heard the dilemma I was thinking Okay, but is a dress really that important that you're going to like start arguing with your brother or whatever? Mm, do you know what I mean? Mm. But at the end of the day, like she might not want to give her that dress and that's fine. Like, she's well within her right. Even if her reasonings are selfish and it's not even all sentimental value. Even if her reasonings are just, I spent thousands of pounds on this dress. I don't want to give it to you because mm-hmm. it's mine. Like mm-hmm. that's completely fine. But mm-hmm. I feel like maybe what she could have done and... From the way the tone of this dilemma, it seems like she already doesn't really like this babe mm, anyway, to be mm, honest. Mm. So I'm just like, if you wanted a compromise, maybe what you could have done is like, I can't give you my dress, mm-hmm. but I will contribute to like your wedding dress. Like mm. if that's like I feel like there's a compromise that could be made, but the yeah. fact that she didn't even offer the compromise, it shows kind of the fact that like it's not just the fact it's that it's not like, the just the fact that oh it's my a gosh, dress. how dare she yeah, ask I about think, my dress? Yeah. I think, I like think it has to do I think yeah, I don't I don't, think, I don't even think it's that she doesn't like the girl. I think it's more so the brother. The fact that she mentioned, oh, the brother's the golden child. Yeah, and that's why he's oh, getting yeah. the, the brother's yeah. the golden child. The brother that. and the fiance are living with the mum. Yeah, she they're feels basically like getting the mom, for, they're basically getting everything that they want. Yeah, they're basically getting anything. everything they want without yeah. having to work for it. Yeah, and I'm not. I'm not sure if she mentioned in the story whether the her mum and the dad are together or something yeah, like that. I'm not. I'm, I'm, well, I'm not too sure. But if the pair, if they're living with the mum, then I then guess I guess, I they're, I guess not, they're not together. Yeah. So I'm thinking like. Maybe like that could also, yeah, especially, when also said, context, especially when she said that the context. dad is contributing and the mum is, and normally you just say the parents are contributing. Yeah, so I mean? I'm guessing that maybe then they're, they're not together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I just feel like there's all those elements in the story. That's maybe why I don't. Maybe mm. I think maybe she not that she doesn't like the girl. It's more to do with the brother and then how. But then the I think mom, that's unfair. To be blaming it on. Yeah. Her. To be blaming it on who? The no, babe. on the babe. Like, no, like, I don't. I don't know. To lash, out, to lash the out the babe when the half of your brother. Is her I don't brother. really think that. Well, from the story, I don't really think she's lashing out on the babe because at the end of the day, 
you've asked a question about something that's mine and yeah. I've said no. And it's kind of like, clearly you guys have, it's, to me, to me, it's like, you know, I don't know how to explain it. You know, when it's like, you're like, people think that they're just entitled to things. Yeah, yeah, yeah And it's just sure. like... But Tammy, if you loved this person, you wouldn't have reacted. She wouldn't have reacted the way that she reacted. Who's this? Who loves... The sister. If she, she loves, loves her sister-in-law. Oh, yeah, absolutely she wouldn't have, not. Like, imagine, That's what I imagine, genuinely feel imagine, like. Imagine, like, bitch no, came I think, to me and I think was like, oh... If, I, think it's the, I think it's the build-up of the whole thing. It's kind of like, okay... okay but even, and maybe her, And maybe her and her dad have been discussing... You know when you discuss with, like, yeah, one... Yeah, one it, you know when you discuss with one parent? And then you're like, they don't even... They can't even afford the yeah, damn. They, yeah. They're now asking for yeah. for wedding. But this wedding. is what I meant about resistance in family. Like I think it's just quite. It's just a very very difficult thing. Like I think for you to when it's something that you can actually just let go. Like genuinely, if something's actually not putting like a detrimental effect on you, but you're just holding it for the sake of of principle or the for, like. I don't think principle and all that sort of thing should re. Obviously, it applies to family, but at the same time, it kind of doesn't. Like, I get it with your external friends. I get it with people that aren't like. Do you know what I mean? But mm. with family, like, as much as I can be like, oh, principle, principle, principle. But at the end of the day, like, I know we can have our arguments. We can not talk. We can do. But at the end of the day, there's a sort of grace that you kind of have to apply to family. Yeah, yeah. And, I, you know what I, mean? I, 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 I completely. Yeah, I completely understand. That's I just so feel like it's very. It's it, when I read the dilemma, mm. I was like, this is actually quite interesting because it's not just about. The wedding dress. Clearly, yeah. there's yeah, other things. Yeah. It's it's, this dress. this this picture ain't rosy. Like this. Yeah. Yeah. Like the fact Saturday that right. the yeah. fact that I don't know. It's just the fact that you want to get married, but you're mm. living with the mom. Yeah, you can't really afford the wedding. Not to say that no one can contribute because weddings are expensive and families do contribute to weddings. But yeah. it's kind of like maybe the the sister and the dad want to have want to. Want them to have a bit more structure before mm. they go down the aisle of mm. of the ma- of the marriage or, yeah. or even not even the marriage the wedding. Yeah. It's really the wedding that is the big thing. But yeah, interesting. yeah, that was my interesting. That was interesting. my dilemma. Then oh. segment over. Oh, over to you. Segment. Damn, damn. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, welcome back, guys, to another episode of the BTS podcast. I'm Beatrice. I'm Tammy. And I'm Sharon. And yeah, this is the BTS podcast. Yeah, man, we're back again another Monday. Hope you guys have had a good start to your week. Yeah, true. <laughs> Doing this in hindsight, you know what I mean? But um, yeah. Um, so yeah, I guess it probably just makes sense. Let's just jump straight into rating your week, your mental. Obviously, we remember the numbers that we gave before. Some were hella low before. Let's hope that there's <laughs> some <me>. sort of... <laughs> let's hope that there's some sort of improvement, you know what I mean? Also, just to say as well, just in case it's not clear. So we record every two weeks. So rate your mental is every two weeks. So it's not every week. Yeah. 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 Yes. Just so people know. Yeah. But, um, yeah, let's, start with, go, yeah, let's start with the low school. Oh, I'm an eight. Hey! 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 It doubles to everything now. Double, double, double. double. My friend uh, went for lunch. He paid. Hey, Amen. Are you sure that's just we need a friend? We need to be friends with you with a little oh, bit of cash. Did you hear what Sean said? What? <laughs> Sean said, Sean said, Sean said, Are you sure that's a friend? The way you're jumping and jiving. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> really, really good friends. I think you guys met him at my birthday when we went to Truth Lounge. Oh, okay. Um, that was ages that. ago. That was ago. Um, yeah. Okay, years ago. Okay, fair enough. Okay. I should try remember, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, no, no. He, no, no, no. We're really good friends. Like, yeah. We caught up on so much. Ugh, just yeah. Kind of, like, it was just good to just see friends and, yeah. like, catch up and, like, see where you are, like, where you guys are in, mm. in your life and things mm. like that. Mm. But you had a really good day. What's today? What's today? Today's Thursday. Tuesday. Yeah. Wednesday. 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 Wow. Yeah. God, Every week. single day of the week but the day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, I've just had, I had a really, I'm trying to think. It feels like the weekend happened so long ago. I'm trying mm. to think, what did I, what the hell did I do? Oh, you went up to, um. Oh, I was in Norwich. Yes. So oh, yeah. Yeah. It was a, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. I'm, I'm just on a high. Like yeah, I just, yeah, yeah. compared to last week. Oh, yeah. Boy. Yeah. Boy. I was a four and now I'm an eight. That's right. <laughs> I love that. But yeah, um, had a really good weekend. Yeah. Uh, saw my friend. Um, So yeah, just. Having a very good week yeah. week like and a half. And um, my auntie came from Nigeria, so I saw her on Sunday. So yeah, just yeah, just been really good. What about you guys? Um I can't remember what I said last time. I think I said six, six and a half. Six and a half. Yeah, and a half, you know yeah. what? I think I might keep it at that. 
okay. I might keep it at that. So we're still steady. We're still steady, man. Um, yeah, things are okay. I guess work's just busy. Um, oh, I um, if you guys don't know, in case my face is peeling, I get <laughs> <laughs> disclaimer. Boy, child. Um, I got my second uh herbal green pill um by Fresh Face London. How is the peel? It is crazy when you actually get it no, done. No, no, I mean like how is like because obviously I see yeah. oh I'm getting chemical peel, chemical yeah, 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 peel, yeah, yeah, this yeah. peel, another yeah. peel, this concentration, another one. Yeah. I'm thinking, okay, so <laughs> What what is the aim of a peel? Yeah. Because I've just seen peel, peel, peel. I'm thinking, okay, yeah. this peel gone, gone. <laughs> what, 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 what are you peeling? What are you peeling? What are you peeling? Why are you peeling? <laughs> <laughs> no, legit. So I've been like a massive, like, I've always suffered with like acne, hyperpigmentation, like so many discoloration. Basically, every single thing that you could think of under the sun, <laughs> my skin has gone. Everything's on my face. Boza. <laughs> so literally, like, um, <laughs> I, w- those people have done it, but I'm, I didn't want to go down the chemical route. So I've gone down like the natural oh, so route. It's herbal. Is, oh, yeah, it's God. all herbs. All herbs. I it was, so no, it's not chemicals, a chemical no acids, no acids, no nothing. It's literally just herbs, natural herbs. So it's really, really good. Um, and why can you not do this one at home? No, because it's like a special kind. Like it's, it's different. Ah, it's, it's not. It's not. It's not. Like, it's not. Like, it's not. Like, it's not. It's not. Like, 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 it's Ah, but things like obviously you're putting like tone. It's like a special tone that you put on, okay. which cleans your face and so you can't, the can skin. You, can you, you can't moisturize. Or I can't shower. I can't exercise. Yeah. No, so, no, 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 not shower. I can't exercise. I can't exercise. I can't do anything that like puts excessive Sweat heat on my face. Oh, okay. You can't. Yeah, you yeah. can't do any vigorous. Yeah, any vigorous kind of activities. Mm-hmm. Uh, activity. I, will, I will grip all of that together. Ah, yes, but, please. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so then you just basically shed for five days, and this is my this is my third <laughs> like one. A oh, dog. boy, it's my third one overall. That's a good shit. My second one with this particular um, girl, and like, yeah, it's really really good. Um, I felt like I saw a bit of a difference before. In fact, like my face was just a bit more brighter and that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I've upped the dosage. So my first one was quite entry level. Now this is like. The level mm-hmm. I'll stay at. Associate. Yeah, I'm at an associate <laughs> level, exactly. Um, you know I mean? Yeah, you, den- you tend to see the results maybe like a month after the pills okay. happen. So like the shedding the shedding has stopped. That's how I'm putting makeup on. I can wash my face, etc. But then now it's like the regen- like rejuvenation okay. Okay. Uh, stage. But yeah, I really I did, liked I it. I didn't actually know that there was like, I thought it was all pills were like chemical. chemical. No, I didn't no, know. No, no, it was, no, I, did, I just thought that you, it was, your one was just a fancy uh, herbal. No. I thought. <laughs> I didn't know it was of chemical. Yeah, yeah. No, but honestly, I highly... I was like, science. I don't know. Just throwing out words. (laughs) But I highly... I definitely, like, recommend it if you're somebody that has, like, severe acne scars and stuff. Like, you know, um, what's Uche? Uche. Uche. Okay, yeah. yeah, Um, She done it. And, like, if you see her skin transformation, yeah, yeah, is crazy. Do you know what I mean? So, a lot of people have done it. And a lot of people have said, like, it's fantastic. It is costly. It's not a cheap thing at all. Um, But it's definitely worth it. When's your face? No, because the thing is, people will be spending money on so many other things, but it's like... You know, yeah. I'm sorry, I don't know if you saw TikTok. Someone was like, if you want to glow up, like especially like physically, like there's like different areas you can focus. You can focus on your teeth. You can focus on like your skin. You can focus. There's so many different things. And for me, yeah. skin is just something that I've always battled with. I'm just like, you know what? I've got the money. Why am I too busy? Put, like, it's not me to be investing yeah. on all these makeup and stuff. Let me just invest year, in my skin. Yeah, yeah. Year, I was like, I'm gonna stop paying for my insecurities. Like, yeah, to fix my skin. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, well, yeah. like yeah. I remember like, why am I? Do you know what I mean? I was just like, yeah. oh. And I remember Jackie. Um, Ina said like. Uh, Couple of years ago, yeah. she was like, "Stop using these cheap, these cheap Brother. facial things because you're spending that this much money on like the makeup stuff. Like yeah. you'll be buying foundation forty 60 pounds, 60 40, pounds. 50 pounds, yeah, but the cleanser yeah. that you're using is two ninety nine. Like, yeah, like, yeah, get yeah, in there. Yeah. 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 The exactly. balance is not balanced. It's yeah, not balanced. So why, all. like, if you're spending I mean, that much on makeup, why would you not spend that much on your that skin? Much, that like, even much, more. Skin, like, even more, um, because the makeup you want to enhance your beauty. Yeah, yeah. But the gong, beauty, the, 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 the thing, gong, 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 gong. The thing that you, the thing that is meant to be glowing. The thing, the gong, gong below. Yes, yes, yes. That's the, that's the prize winner. Yeah, literally, yeah. literally, literally. So why are we not? Why are we not? Like, um, Janae Iko. Yeah. Like I remember on Twitter one time, this was years ago. Someone was like, how does your skin look so good? And she was like, she gets, chem- I think she said she gets chemical peels. It's one type yeah. of pill. Maybe yeah. it's herbal, maybe it's sauce. I don't mm. know what kind of other pills that they have. But yeah, I remember her saying that. And, but then she was saying it's like really expensive. But 
like what you guys are saying, it's like, why are you putting makeup on top of skin that's not? Yeah, like, yeah, like I think that's not as easy because I'm, I'm even though I'm saying this, it's like getting it's your journey. skin right. Honestly, like people be saying, oh yeah, you're not washing your seats. You're not washing your bed sheets. You're not, you're not doing oh, your water. So many you're not different things. But fam, sometimes it's oh. actually hormonal. Sometimes it's actually a lot deeper. Like it's yeah. not as straightforward. So I'm not just saying this as like a blanket term yeah. because listen, your girl has been through it. I've been battling it with it since 16. And like, I feel like I've actually got to a point now where like my skin's fairly like smooth. It's just the scarring. And like for yeah. me to get to this point, like no matter what, basically what I was doing now, I was doing before, but it's just, yeah. it just takes time. Do you know what I mean? So I don't want yeah. people to be like, thinking that we're consistent. just talking like it's so yeah, easy. Yeah, consistent. yeah and, exactly. And I think a lot of people like, you know when people are, Oh yeah, good good skin I just use this one product yeah. Sometimes that thing is hereditary like, Yeah, literally yes. like, like, that's like, that's like genetics. Things with like skin yeah. Long hair Like yeah. think gro- hair growth All yeah. that stuff Sometimes that It's just genetics It's just genetics And it's like yeah, you can enhance it. Mm. Yeah, you can enhance it. But some of these things it's are just... It's kind of like, just like body type as well. Yeah, like, yeah man. Child, all different. No matter what kind of thing I do in the gym, I ain't got no hit. Yeah, that's literally. Just the way yeah, I, that's I, the way I, I, I am. If you like, do the curl, that's this no, way, do honestly, the curl, that's that way. There was, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, there was one babe that was like, oh, um, I got something about fat ass. I'm like, ah, you have to do these glutes. I have to do that. I'm like, but, some uh, of these things are actually like... Some of them are actually like genetic. Yeah, for like, real. Look no at your mum. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your mum. No, you can honestly. See the and you're saying, oh, it's ide- your brother. You can grow. Oh, you can grow. You know. It's a muscle, you, guys. No, there you, are you, three can. you can. You can. No, but I, I, I understand that you can grow. Mm. But don't come to me and start saying this was my workout plan. Oh, no, baby. Yeah. You had that ass in six Yeah, you had that ass in six Yes, literally. It was not yes. You came yeah. out the womb with an ass. No, literally. Do you know what I mean? You're literally. not screaming. Literally. Ow! Yeah. <laughs> and you came out with a fan. Literally. 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 So it's just like, yeah. you know what? Nah. Someone like, also said on Twitter, and it's so true, this girl, she did like a side by side and it was like, oh, she grew her glutes in four weeks. Mm. And then someone was like, but it was like a, it was like a noticeable difference, mm-hmm. right? And someone quote tweeted it and was with like, other so, she grew, so she grew everything. Like she grew her glues, but nothing else grew. Yeah. She was like, you have to actually be careful with these influencers. And Definitely. it's so true. Do you know, How are you do you know someone, someone found a picture? Someone I know the person you're talking about, and someone found a picture of her on her Instagram from before, and they literally had the transformation that she said after ages back, and they had the timestamp of like two years back, and it was like, look at it, look at it, you just edited. Like, That's what I'm saying. So like, really, like, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful with these things. Influencers, you know? They're not influencing nothing. Nothing yeah. but it's pain and sorrow. No, literally, it's actually true. Um, but, but just yeah, quick sorry, question. what's your mental? Oh, sorry. I was just going to ask a quick question about, you know how I was saying I would play for my insecurities now. Yeah. What's one that you do? That you're um, like? Laser. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. True. Yes. 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 Child, yes. Child, yes. Child, child. Yes. 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 Yes
Yeah. Good on you, but that ain't me. Yeah. That ain't like I want smooth and you know what I mean to make up. I make want smooth. Yeah. Just yeah, Look, so glides it does, it does on, glides on. So that's just yes, that's just me. Yeah. So I don't think I'll do it though with my face. But yeah, I agree. Yeah, Would you not? Nah, I don't really see. Like I don't really care about do hair you, on my face. Do you, but do you, do you get anything like? Do you wax. wax your face or anything? I used to, but I actually don't anymore. Okay. I even just, just you remember no. when I waxed my face and I had like a yeah, massive the ra- reaction. reaction? I so know. did you? I yeah. don't. So, I, so I, I use um like Nair have like Nair, a, yeah, a the faithful good one, one for the face, which is actually really good. Yeah, yeah I waxed my face. What? Okay, I waxed it twice. Yeah, mm. at first I thought oh, on me. your own. No, no, no. no. I went shop. to the shop and ah. I waxed my face, and I thought okay, when it, I got a reaction the first time, I thought okay, I don't. I thought maybe it wasn't the um. Maybe it wasn't me. It was just the even the, the wax, wax or... That they, or the or the shop that I went to because yes. it wasn't like my normal shop. So I okay. went to the normal one that I normally went to. Mm. Same thing I happened. And I was like, yeah, yes. this experiment is over. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 I've yeah, got, the, I've got the results. So yeah. I was just like, that yeah, was not wax. An anomaly. And, and you know, it's funny because I remember I've waxed my eyebrows a couple of times, and I do see like a little bit of reaction. Bump. But no, I just thought bumps. that oh, it's just it's just Maybe normal. It's yeah. but, it's, but I just think I have sensitive skin towards wax. I was just like, yeah. Waxing yeah. it for me So yeah. Blazer I cannot shout about it enough yeah. I even need to book Another session yeah, Thank yeah. God I've got one in a couple of weeks Fantastic. Fantastic. What was your Yeah mental? what was your mental? Um, not too great I'd say it's probably Like a four and a half Oh, oh no Not the switching uh, yeah. It is what it is though But yeah Next week I'll feel a lot better Amen Amen, Amen. Cool Okay Um. So yeah Song of the week time I want to say song of the week. Like, I feel like we're I don't have I feel one. Like, what? I don't have one. I'm sure. I thought I literally say this song. This song of the week. Sorry, this I song on is. behalf of all of us. I, I think all I of us would like it. Say. Which is stamina. Yes. Absolutely. How can you not even put that on? I this? haven't listened to it. Eh? Oh my! To it. Hey! I haven't listened to it. Stamina. Now you, now you take my breath away. On my one question, show fair by me. I haven't Live actually listened to it. Another day. And hey, finish you it. And finish it. I know that Kudus tweeted about yeah. it and then I was like, oh, I what's I the song? And then I was like, no, because he was like, oh, Tia Savage and um, I just started jumping. Yeah. I was like, oh, what's the song? But he linked he me. He was like, he linked me the song, yeah. but I was like, okay, I'm going to, I need to get around to listen to it. Yeah. To this day, I just haven't had it. So you're driving in your car. What no, you no, no, no. To? When I drive in my car, I literally play my, I literally play my playlist yeah. and just song. go, and just, just go. Cue it. No, you need to no, play. When you get back in your car. Yeah, yes. when, I, when, I, when I leave. I'll yeah. Play. For me, that song, I've, I've not been, I've okay, that's my song of the week. Dropped. No, literally, it's absolutely sensational. Yeah, and young, jo- it. young Young John, John, John? John? He's producer. having, he's having a concert. Oh, is he? Yeah, I saw it on Instagram. I don't know if I'd go because, I don't know either. He's a he he's a producer now yeah. singer and I don't know I'm just thinking what what would the what would he the would, concert he, probably do, he, his he would do his he would do like the stuff from his EP which is fine but the EP is like half an hour like what, no what? but he would probably also do songs that he's produced, produced. That's what I'm, saying. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking but okay I just hope that he would start bringing out people mm. yeah yeah, yeah well, he would because I feel like I don't know I could be wrong but didn't J Five have like a concert he did yeah okay, that's true yeah. Yeah. oh that's true you know okay Young John I might consider people out he did all oh he did he did NSG um. <laughs> Why did you gotta say because, that? Because like, like yeah, Hus was like in the crowd, but yeah. he didn't come up. I think, I think with him, I think they played like a lot of his. Um, they songs just played the songs, yeah, right? yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, so it might be like a party. Yeah. I don't know. I, know it's just like, I think um, NSG came out. I think I it's like a party, else, but yeah. they would like friends coming out to perform some songs. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah friends. But yeah, anyway, sorry, I did just said the name without even doing anything. But yeah, adding stamina. Um, to our playlist Yeah the song is just fantastic um, Get to know And the song I'm waiting to drop I, I'm not adding it to playlist But the song that I'm waiting to drop Is the Ashake uh, uh, The one that he Bro- oh, Brother yeah, yeah. Beatrice has been screaming about this for Brother I said She said this is I, was song about it this I, was, is, I feel like this is going to be His best song yet Because the way he's gingering me already I feel like it's going to be no, His best song No the way he's gingering me already I said eh I'm actually eh, 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 eh. Anyway, I can't say what I was going to say But I look forward to seeing it live <laughs> I look forward to seeing it live. Anywho, oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, that's the song I'm going to add to the playlist. Um, yeah, that's what we'll do for this week. Uh, so yeah, guys, make sure you uh, check out our playlist on Spotify, on Apple Music um, as well. And yeah, vibe with us. Vibe with songs us. we like. Cool. Topic mm. of the week. So, <clears throat> where do I start? I feel like I need to give a bit of context. First, so that you guys understand where I'm coming from. But it's mm-hmm. kind of been like um, something that's been on my mind just generally. And then I've heard like a couple of people talk about it. And I feel like we've also kind of touched on it here and there, just generally about 
relationships just and also friendships, right? Mm-hmm. And just the fact that, you know, when we had the conversation about um, Diana and Ahmed and mm-hmm. like just about, you know, secrecy and transparency. And, mm-hmm. you know, I just feel like generally people feel like, and I have taken this approach that a successful relationship, a successful friendship means transparency as yeah. much as you can. Yeah. But then... Do you mean with... The other party. With the other person, with the other party, yes. Mm. But then... Just to clarify. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then I just started to think, okay, actually, are there some cases where it's right and actually it's the better thing to do to not say something? So my first question, I want to get, I want to paint, I want to paint a scenario for you guys. So we're going to look at it from the lens of like a relationship first. Okay. So imagine now you're in a relationship mm-hmm. and your friend, your best friend, for example, has come to tell you something. They told you something that's going on with their with their lives, etc. And they say, don't tell anyone about it. Mm-hmm. Now, obviously, like, we're not married. So I do feel like if you were married, the context might be a little bit different, but not mm-hmm. depending on your actual person mm-hmm. that's come to mm-hmm. tell you something. Mm-hmm. And what it is. Yeah. So what approach or what principle will you have in your relationship where someone's come to tell you, like, something that they're going through or, like, or they're going through and, and it, it relates and it, and to it them. Man, yeah it, it might relates to them not to anyone else to, okay okay and okay maybe you need to go in maybe part of your um, explanation will be depends on what they say but just give me examples as to what you think might be you know what even though I'm telling you I'm not going to say anything but I kind of expect that this sort of information you might just share with your partner because you guys talk a lot or mm. actually this is something that you just don't do you feel like it's always a blanket term never or what what kind of uh, thing would you approach Would you kind of take In your own relationship Okay so This is as the girlfriend Not as the best friend right? This is as a girlfriend <laughs> Oh yeah Um As far as I'm concerned If somebody's telling me something And they're telling me Not to tell anybody I'm not telling anybody Okay It's mm. not I don't We are not one yet yeah. Do you know what I mean Like I ain't got to share Everything with you Especially if it does not Concern you or me at all It doesn't affect my life it, It's completely uh, And I feel like If you are in a position Where you feel like you're going to keep telling your partner everything or you want to tell your partner everything. I think that you should make that clear to your best friend because you could, yeah, like maybe unintentionally or in- intentionally, whatever, like actually break the trust between you and your best friend now mm. because she or he feels like every time she's telling you something or he's telling you something, mm. it's being shared with the third person, mm-hmm. the second person, mm-hmm. on the on the, that, that <laughs> word. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. What do you think, Tammy? <clears> How? <throat> I don't know. I think... Mm. <laughs> no, honestly, because I'm going to give some scenarios. No, because to, yeah. for me, it's like, okay, in my own past situations, yeah. I have um, spoken to part, like, your partner, partner about yeah. maybe something that has happened. Yeah. Only because... Yes. Gossip. I'm joking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we do that. Like, yeah, gossip, yeah, you, you know, talk yeah, to your yeah. partner, of course. Only because he wasn't really... Around okay. the people that yeah. I was talking about. Not so then, that I was going around yeah. talking about everybody, like saying all these bad stuff. Mm. But what I'm saying is that like maybe there was a situation I'm just like, ah, you never guess like what has like what has happened, blah, blah, mm. blah. Mm. But only uh, only telling just just to I don't know how to explain it, but it's yeah. like I'm not telling him to be spiteful or like mm. going against the person's wishes. Sorry, mm. is this even when the person said don't tell anyone? Because that is the context that Beatrice has given. Yeah, the person said something so, that you that you said, said they don't, don't really don't want people to know. They don't want people to know. Well, you said they said don't tell. Don't anyone. tell anyone, but they don't want people to know. The same That's thing. the same thing. But that's what I'm saying. No, no, no. But it's, I feel like if they've actually specifically they said, said don't tell anyone, I don't want people to know. I feel like no matter where where you put okay. it, that's okay. The same okay. Con- I thought you thing. meant like just the con- life. No, no, no. <laughs> I think I I like Beatrice said. I think it depends on what they're saying. What they're saying. Okay. If it's something that impl- what is this scenario? No, no, but I'm if it's something that no, 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 if it's something that implicates some other people, yeah, ciao. I don't know. I might not even want to hear what you. That's what I'm saying. Some sometimes I sometimes when people want to tell me, please don't tell me. Yeah, yeah. Because sometimes sometimes some things are a bit too heavy for me, and I'm just like, you know, I don't want to have like. But one thing, one thing about it is that if someone has actually told me. Please, like, if it's like oh, yeah. serious, yeah. please don't tell anyone. Yeah, hmm, I'm taking that shit to the grave. Yeah. Like, one thing about me, I will actually take that to the I grave. Mm. If it's something silly, like, do you know when you've like heard something or like, if it's something silly, like, mm. yeah, so I'm not gonna lie, take my man. Like, mm. we're gonna talk about it. Yeah. But if it's something like, I feel like it's like 
do or die. Mm. Then I'm keeping it to myself. I don't know. It's like, I don't know. It's a yeah. bit, it's, I don't know. It's a bit sticky because it's yeah, like, it is. sometimes like, because when you're with your, when you're with your partner, mm. that, that person's like, your best friend. So it's kind of like, of course. You, that some, some things you discuss. And I don't know if you've been in a situation where your own boyfriend is telling you the stuff about, about their, their own, own friends. Yeah, so course. it's kind of like, yeah. yo, one way, waffle, waffle, yeah, waffle. yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear like, you. you tell me, I tell you, yeah, to me, okay. to you, to me, yeah. to you. I hear you, I but hear you. But you know, but yeah. no, on a, on a more, more serious note, if yeah. something is like implicating others, yeah. sorry. Yeah. I need okay, to and say just something. so I can clarify, are you guys saying this doesn't change even if you were married? I'm not saying that. You're not saying that. So you're, no. you think it changes a little bit when you are married? Potentially. Yeah, okay. potentially. I, I, think, I know the yeah. scenario. Yeah. Okay. I do have an uncle who is like, like, I don't know, my mum and dad are a bit different. Like, if, if someone tells my mum something, like, tells my mum something and says, don't tell your husband mm. or whatever, like, mm. she would consider not telling him. I guess it also depends on what it is, but yeah. like, she wouldn't necessarily tell my dad. Yeah. Whereas I have an uncle who is like, oh no, I tell my wife everything. So yeah. if you don't want my wife to know, don't, don't tell, tell me. me. And mm. exactly, he has mm. that. So I guess it mm. really just depends on yeah. the couple. And like, I don't know where I stand yet because yeah. I don't know. My husband also probably has to have a view on that as yeah. well. I and know. I think that... <clears throat> When I feel, I feel like when you, when, when we do get married and like we're, we're living our marriage lives, mm. like if I, if I am telling you guys something in the back of my mind, your you husband know, already knows, like yeah. your husband knows. Yeah. And it's like, if I'm going through something, like I was watching a movie yesterday and um, it was like a Nollywood movie on um, Amazon Prime. Okay. And it's kind of like the woman was in like an abusive marriage mm. and it was like, the friends would be like, oh, um, you need to leave the, you need to leave the marriage. Mm. Everything that the friends were telling that woman, mm. the it woman would go husband. back and tell her abusive husband. Mm. And it's, ah. that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. like she would like, because of under control and all yeah. that stuff. Yeah. So oh. in my mind, I'm just thinking like, yeah. married people do tell, even in the worst kind of situations. Yeah. Yeah. So you're still telling your husband mm. what your friend has. Do you understand what mm. your friend has said? So, Talkless of people that are like in non-abusive yeah. situations, like yeah. you're gonna like, not that you're always gonna tell your partner, but there's a high possibility that yeah. that is gonna happen. Like, yeah. if you guys are married and I'm telling you something, yeah, I know your husband knows. Yeah, so I know thing, your husband. Knows. I definitely agree with everything you guys have said. And the thing for me is that, like, when I was thinking about it, I was like, okay, cool. Like, generally, I think that that's the approach that I would take. I wouldn't just typically share things with my boyfriend. However, I wouldn't lie. So I don't like lying because I wouldn't want the lie to be reversed to me. Because sometimes mm-hmm. you think about this from like your point of view, but it's like, actually, if this happened the other way around, like how would, how would I feel? But so for example, if like my friend has told me something and then like, I'm not going to volunteer, like volunteer information just out of the blue. Like, oh, by the way, this person told me this. No. But if you come and ask me something that's like kind of relating to it, I'm not going to be like, I don't know anything. I might be like, look, I've, I know something, but I actually can't share it with you out of respect for that person or out of respect mm. for what someone has told me. But let's say, for example, it's like, oh, like someone's going through something. I'd be like, oh, but just keep them in your prayers. Like, I would say that. I don't think that that's tame too mm. much. I I can't, I just don't want to be in a situation where I am like actually lying and saying, oh no, mm. they're fine when they're actually not. Because if I feel like it'll be a bit of a, there's some things where, you know, in when you look back, your, your partner be like, okay, cool, it's fine. I, I can see like you lying, whatever. But there's some things where like, you look back and you're like, nah, like, you could have actually let me just pray for the person on the side, or you might, you could have just let me do mm, something. Do you know what mm. I mean? So, at I least think, let me, let like, me just let me like, know that, okay, yeah, the, the situation's a bit, let me yeah. just the way that I speak to them, yeah. maybe I won't bring up, like, do you know what I mean? I'll just be careful. I don't especially, if the exact especially if they're going through something. That's what like, I'm trying to say. You might want, like, just take I, it easy. Like, like there's, there's been situations where we've spoken and then we've yeah. maybe spoken about another person, mm. and I've not told you exactly what is uh, going yeah, on, but I've been like, Oh, that person's actually going, going through, through a lot. Yeah. So just, you know, be exactly. Be but rather than you saying that's a complete, I don't a know. Blanket statement, like, yeah. oh no, everything is fine. Yeah. Like, no, yeah. everything is not exactly. fine. But I'll just let you know that, yeah. oh, that person is going through some stuff. Yeah. Like, just, you know, be mindful. Maybe if you if you're speaking to them, like yeah. you could be, oh, oh, let me invite you to hear here and here. But mm. if you know something is going on, maybe you'd be a bit more cautious of how you would approach that situation or approach the person. Like the person that you're speaking that is in your boyfriend or whatever would understand that as well and that would mm-hmm. respect it. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I feel like That's even it. in situations where I've been where I've asked, like this hasn't been a partner, but like I've asked a friend something about 
another friend because I've been like, oh, I noticed this. Like, do you yeah. know if blah, blah, blah? Yeah. And that person obviously knows but doesn't want to say something on behalf of that other person because it's really none of yeah. their business. Yeah. Then I obviously, as the fr- the other friend, I'm like, oh, okay, actually, do you know what? Don't tell me anything because I understand that maybe like she wouldn't want you to tell me. You mm. also don't feel comfortable telling me. Exactly. I will speak to her directly. Do you mm. go? I mean, yeah. so, like, hopefully you would never want to put yourself or your partner in a position where they're having to like, Tell you information that they don't feel Can't comfortable sharing. sharing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And Definitely. I was gonna say as well, if your boyfriend's a chai pie, don't be telling that's anything. Oh, about. I think, I think and the also, person, can I, I just that's what I was gonna say. The type of person that you're really with. Can I say important. another thing that's really important as well? Do not like, um, because we've had like I've had this before, where like the way the friend is conveying the information to the boyfriend, the boyfriend now doesn't even like the friends. Yeah, but the thing is like. The, fr- the boyfriend doesn't have a relationship with the friend, so that can't be mended. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's like, yeah. you're getting the, you're like getting a perception of someone else through yeah. your girlfriend, yeah. but then it's yeah. like, yeah. no one can ever even, do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. no, that can't be I repaired. Get it, but then at the same time, the perception should be through me. So like, you know what I mean? Like, because if you, you don't mean? have, a, like, for example, you're saying, I get that you like, you know, you shouldn't sway your partner to believe something. But then, if you don't have a relationship with them, your, your mm. view of them is my view. Your view of them is my view. No, 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 I understand what she's saying. I know what she's saying. No, I understand what she's saying. No, I understand what she's saying. Let me give you an example. So, let's say I've fallen out with one of my friends. Yeah. But I know I'm going to be back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At that point of time. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't want my boyfriend to be like, yeah, and they did that. And I remember the last time he told me that she did this. Mm, mm. I don't, I don't, I want him, but I want sometimes, the thing, though, sometimes, I mean, if, if, I, if I know that, if the thing that we're arguing about is something silly, like, yeah. oh, she asked me for my dress. Yeah. Sorry, not, yeah. not to go back to the dilemma. Yeah. Oh, she asked me my dress. She didn't give it back. The, mm. the dress is smelling or yeah. something like that. Just something small like that yeah. where mm. I can easily get over it. But if it's like serious things like, oh, I feel like my friend is not being a good friend. Mm. Your boyfriend or husband yeah, or whatever should be, should, should, no, shouldn't even do that, but should be like, should be giving you constructive, constructive yeah. advice, mm. if that's what I say. Like, yeah. oh, maybe you should do A, B, and C. Or, mm. okay, if you feel like you're not, if you you guys are not going to be friends anymore, just tell her. Mm. I don't want my boyfriend to be like, and yeah, remember the last time mm. she did this, mm. and then you did this, mm. and then she because did, that's mm. a very like normal reaction to have. Yeah, but do you know, know what I mean. I like, if my just... friend keeps telling me about somebody that keeps doing something, to them, I'm gonna yeah. think, why are you, why, 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 why are you bothering? Yeah. Yeah. And these yourself... times you wanna bother. Do you know what I mean? No, <laughs> I get it, but I, you no, know, I always say, always guys not chatting to you. Yeah, no, I get it what you mean, definitely. But I just, I do still. You know, think about that a scenario where you just think about a girl that's chatting. You know, when a guy is talking about a guy doing this, a guy doing that, a guy doing that. And at the end of the day, like I said, yes, we can we'll feel the emotion they're feeling and stuff. But you know, when you also have wisdom, where it's like, you know what? At the end of the day, I'm just I'm just gonna be your I'm your friend at the end of the day. So whatever you decide to do, I'm gonna pattern you. Yes, mm-hmm. if you're feeling that upset today, we're gonna feel upset today. If you're mm-hmm. gonna like them next week, you're gonna like them next week. And I feel mm-hmm. like that's a sense of maturity that someone your partner should have. Like mm-hmm. that, that's something that you do like with your friends. Like yes, they can come. I get that sometimes it can affect you a little bit. Like hmm, yeah, actually this friend. But at the end of the day, <laughs> if my yeah. friend decides in the day she wants to be with that man. Ah, there's only so much I can do. I'm still gonna be your friend. I'm still gonna support you. I'm still gonna be there for you. Do you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, like I get what you guys are saying. I know that it's not ideal, like it does affect you a little bit, but if your person's job is your person's job at the end of the day is to support you with whatever they need to support you with. So if you decide today I'm upset, you're upset. If you decide next week you're, yeah. you're happy. And I, I hear what you're saying. I know but that it's kind of I hear what you're saying, but I hear what you're saying. I know what I'm hearing what you're saying, because yes, baby, that's how it should be. Yeah. But at the end of the day, the quality of the friendship. Or like the quality of the relationship you will now have with that person, your best friend's partner, is going to be weak. Because in your mind, you're probably thinking, say, for example, this guy keeps doing nonsense, keeps bread and she mm. keeps going back. And it's like, honey, like, why are you doing that? Like, yeah. you deserve so much better, blah, blah, blah. Even if that girl goes back and they're still together, like, you're going to feel away. Or let me speak for myself. I'm still going to feel away because I'm like, I'm so going to So what try- should she do? She should lie. She should keep that from you or what? Child, I'm not even gonna lie. Like I no, feel see, like for me, I, I, I wouldn't want that in my saying, relationship. Wait, wait, wait. I I'm want not that. saying don't tell me. I'm not saying. I that. want to know the full relationship of the person you're with. Okay, wait. I don't even think that's realistic. I feel like that's very li- realistic. I'm confused. Okay, wait, what are we talking wait. about? Can I even finish? Uh, like we were talking in hypotheticals. No, I'm even confused. Well, no, the friend. I was basically, what, no, what's going on? Okay, the context is that. Um, 
I have a best friend and my no, yeah, I have a best friend and her boyfriend keeps cheating her, cheating on her, or maybe he keep maybe it doesn't have to be cheating. It's just something where he's disrespecting her and yeah. she keeps coming to tell me. And like I've now gotten to a point where like I'm just th- feeling like this guy does not deserve you. And mm-hmm. it's breaking my heart watching you go back to him mm-hmm. because I just feel like he's not treating you properly, right? Mm. It's not that she we won't still be friends. Of course, we will still be friends, but I'm just thinking like the quality of the relationship I will now have with that guy is not going to be strong because in yeah, my you're mind, gonna I'm going to be looking just, at him sideways. I'm yeah. going to be looking at him sideways. Yeah, and it's like, let's say they even stay together forever. That's great. But I feel like it will still be hard for, and maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just my personality, mm. but it will still be hard for me to like really like, like accept him and like love him because yeah. in my head, I'm just thinking, ah, you really, like I was one that wiped those tears. Do you get what I'm trying to mm. say? So I feel like, I don't know, maybe, because I was basically saying I feel like sometimes You have to be a little bit cautious With what you're sharing About your I relationship think. With your friend But Beatrice said that You should share Your entire the I didn't say shy, I, know, I didn't say that I, I was thinking about it In terms of even like In terms of my relationship With my partner In, sense, in the sense of like If if I was having, you know how you get the example where if you're having issues with your with a with a friend and then you're telling your partner all of this sort of thing, okay. like my my partner should be there for him, like with it. I don't, and I think yeah, I, that's get, different I get what you're like trying to say in terms of like opposite. even the reverse or even with your scenario, right? It's like, for example, I know when I come to you, at least think about again with wisdom. Like if you're the type of friend where you are smart. When your friend is coming to you to vent, you understand that this is in the moment because we know that we can vent to each other. If I'm angry with someone, I can go to Sharon and I can blast them off. <laughs> I can, brother, I will blast your Ross Clark off. Child, that's, why, that's why our chat is encrypted. No, but no, <laughs> but I will blast it off. And then at the end of the day, like if I decide, cool, I'm I'm letting it go. Mm. And I tell Shan, I'm letting it go. I if Shan let don't it let it go, then she's not a good friend. That's I my know, genuine oh, opinion. I'm not no, saying that no, I'm letting it go. I, I will let it go. Yeah, but then it might affect you. By the end of the day, if you relationship, that's your own. Your job is to be my friend. Are you no. their friend? No, you're not. Okay, maybe you're because, not. Wait, wait, maybe wait. it's because. <laughs> wait, hold on. Can I friend. just say? I don't. <laughs> hold, hold on. No. Can I just say? I actually would love for my friends to come to me with absolutely everything. Yeah, yeah. like if I, I love, need to. Yes, if I you don't need want to. Feel like I, need to, want I, don't, I need to hide it. I'm scared yes, about no, how you're going to react. No, no, none of that. Like none of that. And I, I feel like I'm quite good with like if somebody's let something go. I'm going to let it go. Why am I fighting? That's what I'm it's, to my say. Battle. it's not my battle. I'm just saying, as general guidance yes. for like a lot of female friendships, mm. I'll talk about female friendships because I can't talk about the men's friendships. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like sometimes the girls be holding grudges. Do yeah. you know what I'm and saying? Therefore, that, that, the therefore, that person shouldn't even be somebody you're even saying? sharing something in the first place. Apply wisdom sometimes. <laughs> They're not your friend like that. Who, okay, maybe what I should have been saying is <laughs> apply <laughs> wisdom sometimes with who you are sharing certain information with. Yeah. That I know, for example, like, like Beatrice said, I can go to her and I can be like, bro, I am fuming. And I'm telling her, Absolutely everything yeah. And the next week I can just be like Oh yeah That was We're on, going on Or whatever yeah, And that, it's all good And like yeah, She yeah. wouldn't be looking at me sideways yeah. But I'm just saying that Not everybody's like that so I think wisdom. With me I think I'm the friend that Okay If you're telling me For the 10th time yeah. I think you Please stop Telling yeah. me <laughs> mm. I've been in a situation Where it's like Okay wait let me retract that statement. I don't think so. I, tell you, me, I think you're the type of friend that I just gave the example of where I think that you would still back that person. I was, after. okay, okay, no, no. Because I've been in situations where it's been like, I'm actually not picking up the phone anymore because yeah. it's getting, <laughs> it's getting, mm. it's getting draining because... Yes. Let yeah, me, but you let, made it clear that you don't want it. Yeah. No, yeah. no, maybe I, making yeah, it clear is me, not, is me up, not picking yeah, up the phone. Of course, yeah. Yeah. But my whole thing is that, okay, if you, if you know, mm. And you're going to continue dealing with this person. Mm. Just give me updates. Yeah. In maybe every three to five working months. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Don't be calling me every week with a new, mm. with a new thing. Mm. It's, not, it's not even a new but thing. But Tammy, if it was it's your the best thing. As in like someone that you're so close I don't with. have, I don't have, first of all, I, I don't have like, a best friend. Yeah, but if it's someone Let me like, put that out there. I don't no, have no, a no, best friend. I was even talking to my friends today, but I was like, I don't have a best friend. Yeah. And it's not a bad thing. It's no, not, like I'm, not like I'm shouting from the future. I want a best friend. No, I don't. It's fine. Yeah. But my whole thing is. And also some of the relationships that you have with your friends, I'm sure other people. Best, best friends friend. for sure, hundred percent. Yep. Ciao. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Well, carry on. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> but I just feel like sometimes when you're offloading on mm. your friend, mm. sometimes you have to think about your friend. Mm. Yes. Like, That's imagine if say. you imagine if you're the friend that five people feel like 
they can offload to every mm. time. Mm. It's yeah. heavy. Yeah. And I've been but then you tell, but then you tell them, make it no, clear. No, no, I know. But what I'm saying is that at the same time, I can be a friend that even if you come to me mm. 10 times, I'm mm. still going to be your friend. Mm. Yeah. But sometimes in some situations, it's actually drain. It's actually yeah. Draining, yeah. hearing the same thing over and over again, yeah. no change, and it's like, okay, don't unless it's something like life threatening at this mm. point. Mm. If you're going to be telling me the same thing, mm. oh, he did this again, mm. oh, he did this again, mm. oh, he did this again. At this oh point, my god, he even, did it again. Do you know, I tell again. this person, mm. and I'll be like, do you know, do you know what? Do you know, what? I'll actually tell this person, like, do you know what? Yeah, if he keeps doing this again, and you're going to keep going back. Please don't tell me. Do you know what this person Please. needs? Like, they don't even because at this point they don't need advice. They don't want it. They don't want it. They just want something. They just want something. They just want open your talk. voice memo. Pretend like I'm on the phone and just talk. <laughs> <laughs> because that's what you want. You yeah. don't and, want and somebody it's actually, to. Yeah. And it's actually draining, and yeah. you don't know what. And the ones I hate is when people are offloading and not even asking you how 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 are how you. Are yes, you? Yeah, about this yeah, exactly. And it's like. Yeah. How you keep on offloading and offloading and offloading and not yeah. even asking me how I am, yeah. whether I'm even taking this offloading that you're giving me well. What kind of day mm. Do you understand? Like, do you understand? So yeah. for me, it's just kind of like when you are offloading on your friends and you're telling them things repeatedly, mm. do it with uh, grace yeah, and caution. Yeah, yeah, because you sure. don't know what other people are going through. Like you don't know whether what you're saying could be triggering yeah, for them. Yeah. Triggering for them and could make them go into a bad for sure. Position as well. Yeah. But just a disclaimer, my friends, you can tell me what you're like, don't think that you can't mm. tell me what you're going through. Yeah. But I think that sometimes when it becomes repetitive and it's the same thing, yeah. it gets, it gets boring and it gets like, <laughs> no, I mean like it gets boring yeah. in the sense that, okay, I keep on repeating myself like a, like a record player. just mm. And I'm just like, you know what? If you're going to stay with him, just stay with him. Yeah. Unless it's something life-threatening. Yeah. Then if you're going to be telling me the same thing, then boy, I don't yeah. know. I don't I know what to tell you. And I'm sorry, just the last thing to wrap up is that um, I was just thinking of like, again, scenarios where, you know what, I can't even lie. You've told me not to tell the person, but I'm telling them. And, I, and there's definitely for me mm-hmm. something. That's what I said. If, you, if, if, someone's if, someone's chat, implica- if someone, if someone yeah. is implicating someone. Yeah. <laughs> no, but like, for example, if like you, I hear you're chatting about like, my friend, for example, behind their back and it's making them look bad. And like, they're like, oh, okay. please, like, you know, for example, when, you, when someone's like, oh, yeah, like, oh, um, so and so was talking about your friend and they were saying that, duh, 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 duh. and they're like, oh, nah, don't tell them though. Sorry. <laughs> what? Sorry. I don't think, I don't think anyone should Does tell me anything yes. about, I don't think anyone should tell me anything about my friend. Don't do that. Don't tell me that. Because it's silly. Because at the end of the day, as much as you, tell tell them, them. as much as you can put the disclaimer, I'm going to tell, tell them. them. I'm going to tell them. Which is why I'm trying to say there's something. I'd rather you not even put me in a position. That's what I'm trying to say. But I'm saying if you're telling, if you're yeah, telling me, something. then I'm, I can't lie to you. You're deceiving yourself because I'm going to tell them. So that's what I'm trying to say. Is that like me things. coming to Beatrice telling me something like telling something about Sharon? Oh, Sharon did this. I know Beatrice is going to go tell Sharon. No, but not even just about Sharon did this. It's like oh yeah, um, someone told me that Sharon, Sharon did this. Like oh Sharon, um, someone said Sharon looking looking somehow blah blah. I'm like no 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 oh I heard that she's not. We keep on using Sharon as an example, but. But it's like, oh, I heard Sharon did A, B, and C, and yeah. then she did D, Y, X, and yeah, then she I'm did thinking, one, two, three. I'm I mean, like, what kind of madness is this, bro? I'm telling you, bitch, is that? Yeah. I found oh, bitches gonna run back absolutely that information pronto. Cool. Yeah, I do that for both of you. I do that for both of you without no, honestly, a shadow of a doubt. No, honestly, act cool. Without a shadow of, I'm not even blinking, bro. I'm already texting you, saying, yo, wait, are you up? That's why I'm texting you, away. No, no, but it's true. Are you up? Yeah, literally. And then yeah, I remember- It's always late. <laughs> it is. Information always comes to you in the, in the late night, in you know? In the night, in the night, the night, the night, 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 and sorry, there was one scenario I remember I was listening to a podcast And they were talking about it, And they were like Okay, so imagine like You're in a party, right? And um, you're uh, Why am I already laughing? No, imagine you're in a party, right? Sorry, no. And like you're with your partner And then um, basically like Your partner's uh, best friend um, Has come to the motive No, hold on Let me think Let me think again I didn't think about it right away Okay, so no Let me say Let me do it as me So I, it's my It's my boyfriend's birthday um, and one of my friends comes into the motive, mm-hmm. um, and I'm like, oh hi, da, 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 da. this is my boyfriend. Da, 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 da. Nice to meet him, and blah blah blah. So then, um, imagine then the friend, my friend, friend, yeah, yeah, comes up to me and is like, oh, oh, sorry, hold on, I'm doing this wrong. It's not my boyfriend. Oh. The person that I'm introducing her to is like, let's say my another friend's boyfriend. Sorry, okay. it's not, sorry, it's, okay. not my, it's not my boyfriend. Sorry. So then my friend comes up to me and is like, oh, is that 
So that so and so is in a relationship. Yeah. That person was trying to Anything move to me outside. outside. Yeah, hey. outside the motive. Outside the motive was, was moving to me last week. Oh yeah, yeah. Outside the motive. I don't like. I don't, please so, don't tell me. So in that scenario, wait, 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 in that scenario, who, wait, in that scenario, who are you telling first? Are you gonna my go, boyfriend? Are you? Yeah, <laughs> my boyfriend. Facts. Wait, I don't even understand. Why did, how did your boyfriend come into this no, scenario? No, because you know we just talked about. Oh, when you get information, <laughs> so the first. <laughs> Oh, so you wouldn't even go to the person's no, friend no, whose even... boyfriend is cheating. Yeah, I go to my boyfriend Mila, first, Mila. give them the download and then ask for directions. No, oh, no, what to do? That is what I was gonna say. That is that was maybe it's because that... I don't have a boyfriend. No, I'm just saying in the, no, 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 no. I'm just saying in this song because she said it was her boyfriend's party. No, yeah, 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 yeah. If my boyfriend's thinking, party. If it's my friend that is impacted, why am I going to my boyfriend for information? No, because it's, it's, it's oh, not for guidance about how to approach my own friend. No, 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 no. Okay, for me, yeah, if I'm with someone, they're yeah. my best friend. Yeah. So the first person I'm running to. And this was the scenario, yeah, that was just so funny. It was like, we were talking about, we were, I remember they were talking about all these different things. Like, yeah, I'm going to do this and do that. And then when that scenario came up, I was like, rah. Now I can't even lie. I'm going to tell, do you know what I mean? So it just made I me tell laugh. My boyfriend that, first, yeah, and it, then I just Yeah, then the you situation. see what exactly. So really? sometimes, there, yeah, yeah, there's some situations where it's like, no, you know, would you not tell, would you not go and tell Beatrice? Your be- like, I'm saying Why am I that- telling Beatrice? I'm telling the babe Who's I'm impacting saying, No, no, no Whose I'm boyfriend s- is cheating on no, her I'm No, I'm saying so you're going directly All the way there You're not going to That's you're, my you're friend not, You're not going, yeah, you're you're not going, not going to go and consult To it's see what you're doing going to grab her Then and party. there And be like Repeat what no, you just said No, no, no You can't do that in a party setting In your boyfriend's party setting You can't do that My boyfriend will have Many other methods I'm joking I'm joking You know you can't do that You know you can't do that I wouldn't do that But I wouldn't do it then and there you're telling me You wouldn't go to your boyfriend But I would tell that girl first You wouldn't go to your boyfriend first my, it's, his, it's, his, like, first? it's his birthday. He's been knowing everyone that's there, and you can see something blowing up. And, you're, and I know that it's your friend that's involved, but it's his birthday. You're going to you tell your boyfriend at his own birthday. No, party. no, they're just saying, yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Be like, yeah, wow, yeah, yeah, like, he's, he's, not, he's not that far. He's not, yeah, he's not like, right. Like, right, did you just, ace, ace. Bro, you so I'm just coming to say, like, what? No, do you And normally you'd be like, the voice of reason, now, don't deal with that now, we'll deal with that later. Shout out to my man. How, how is that the voice of reason? Isn't that just no, 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 I get what you're saying. Sometimes, no, yeah, sometimes, yeah. You, no, 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 sometimes you just do what you yeah, get. Yeah. It's like, right, let me do this because I'm sorting out. No, 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 no you know, cool, sometimes, cool. yeah, sometimes, yeah, you can have your friend, yeah, you can have your boyfriend, yeah, they'll tell you exactly the, the same, same thing, thing, but because it's coming from your boyfriend, sometimes something in your it head just different. Something in your head just be like, okay, pattern me. Pattern me. This girl's crazy. I love time. Oh, no, I'm a, I, one thing about me, one thing about me, I'm a man, 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 I'm a man, man, I'm a man, man, I'm a man. No, that is definitely facts for oh, sure. Oh, no. But yeah. Real talk, I'm talking about that first. Absolutely for sure. But anywho, that's the episode, guys. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> my man, my man, my man. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Let us know what you think. What are you guys doing in these scenarios? Because... Boy, it's crazy up in here. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, make sure you follow us on our socials. That's BTS Pod underscore on Twitter, on Instagram, and on TikTok. Make sure you guys subscribe to our YouTube channel, the BTS Podcast. Make sure you guys uh, give a comment, drop a comment. And also, if you're listening to us on Apple Podcasts, if you listen to us on Spotify, drop a review as well. To us Five star enjoying. review. Five star. But you know what? If you want to drop a four, I ain't mad. Thank you very much. And God bless. <laughs> and see you next week. Bye. Bye.